Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of RBI 247, wherein we discuss finance current affairs which are relevant for RBI and SEBI grade A exam. Let's get on with the first topic today, which is RBI may cut dividend paid to the government. Herein we will understand what is the dividend we are talking about here and why do RBI gives a dividend to the government and why there will be a shortfall this year in the dividend paid to the government. Second, about 81 bonds and the yes, why are their news due to yes bank. Okay. The third will be insolvency and bankruptcy code. This has been in news for quite some time now. And the fourth will be the new locker, new locker rules and the date has been extended for them, their implementation. The first topic that we're going to talk about is RBI may cut dividend paid to the government. So just like any other company, RBI also has surplus with it, the profits that RBI earns. So like any other company, income and expenses RBI ke bhi hote hai, right? Like any other company, when they profit earn, karti hai, they have to pay dividend to the owners, to the equity shareholders. Just like that, the ownership of RBI is under the government. That's why RBI has to pay dividend out of its profits every year to the government. This comes under Section 47 of RBI Act. This is very important, can be asked in your exam, the section number. So under Section 47 of the RBI Act, it states that the profits made by the RBI from its operations must be given to the center in the form of dividend. Okay, now these profits kaise earn hoti hai? See, like, like I said, like any other company, RBI also has income and expenditure under its income. So RBI has certain assets, for example, foreign currency assets, foreign currency securities, government bonds, jo RBI hold karti hai. It generates interest income on that. Foreign currency assets pe bhi RBI earns returns, revenue, interest, on foreign currency assets held by the RBI, right? Interest on rupee denominated government bonds, which government ke bonds issue hote hai, un pe bhi RBI interest earn karti hai. And at the same time, RBI also gets a management commission for issuing bonds on behalf of government, right? So RBI issues bonds on behalf of the government. For that, RBI earns management commission, right? So these are the income sources for RBI. Talking about the expenditure, certain expenditure of RBI are printing of currency, staff expenses, commission given to commercial banks and also primary dealers, right? They work on, work on behalf of RBI, right? For selling and purchase of securities, government securities. Ke liye primary dealers work and unko RBI commission pay karti hai. These are certain examples of expenditure and income. When we take a di difference of this income and expenditure, we get profit which in this case is surplus, right? RBI ke case mein we call it surplus. Abhi is surplus kitna government ko chayega? What is the amount of dividend out of this surplus? A dividend is given to the government by RBI. Now what will be the dividend? This was the issue a couple of years ago. The government wanted ki pura ka pura surplus should be transferred to the government because RBI is owned by the government. But this was not acceptable to the RBI governors and thus it was decided ki aage ja ke ek committee form hogi. 2018 mein Bimil Jalan committee was formed which was responsible for reviewing the economic capital framework. Under this framework, it was decided ki dividend, how much percentage of dividend, I mean how much percentage of the surplus in the form of dividend will be given to the government, right? How much percentage of the surplus in the form of dividend will be given to the government, right? Up, so, a Bimal Jalan committee was formed in 2018, which worked on the economic capital framework. It reviewed the economic capital framework. What is the economic capital framework? It is nothing, but under this, it will be determined what, firstly, what, how will the profit be distributed to the government and kitna percentage of the profit will be given under this act, okay? So, th this committee recommended there will be distinction on Two components, two components in one figure out kare. The first one is realized equity. The second one is revaluation balances. What is realized equity? Jo bhi interest earn kar rahe hai RBI on certain loans, on certain borrowings. This is realized amount of income by the RBI. It comes under realized equity, right? The income that is earned by the RBI from loans, or from holding government securities, jo unpe interest aa hai, it is the realized amount. It comes under realized equity. 
टॉकिंग अबाउट रिवेल्युएशन बैलेंसेस ये क्या होता है सी दीज आर जस्ट नोशनल प्रॉफिट दीज आर नॉट एक्चुअली रियलाइज प्रॉफिट दीज आर नोशनल प्रॉफिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल गोल्ड और फॉरन करेंसी एसेट्स अगर इनके अमाउंट में अप्रिसिएशन हो गया आफ्टर अ सर्टन ईयर देर इज अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ गोल्ड इन द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ आरबीआई दिस विल कम अंडर रिवेल्युएशन बैलेंस रिवेल्युएशन बैलेंसेस राइट इफ देर इज अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ गोल्ड और फॉरन करेंसी एसेट्स दिस विल फॉल अंडर रिवेल्युएशन बैलेंस शीट सिर्फ इनकी वैल्यू में अप्रिसिएशन हुआ है देर इज नो इनकम अर्न आउट ऑफ इट ओके ये सब जाते हैं रिवेल्युएशन बैलेंसेस पे राइट नाउ For calculating the profit, how much profit का percentage will be given to government? We use realized equity, right? Which is the equity that is actually earned, the income that is actually earned, right? Unlike notional profit in this case. Okay. So also this committee said कि एक contingency risk buffer बनाया जाएगा. A contingency risk buffer will be maintained, which will be six point five to and five point five percent of the total assets theek hai within this 6.5 and 5.5 of the total assets ka percentage ek contingency risk buffer banaya jayega and anything that is over and above this will be transferred to the government okay once this buffer is maintained anything over and above it will be transferred to the government okay in the year 2022 rbi transferred मोर देन अ लिटिल मोर देन थर्टी थाउजेंड करोर टू द गवर्नमेंट एंड इन दर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आरबीआई ट्रांसफर करोर इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन आरबीआई ट्रांसफर मोर देन हंड्रेड करोर ओके आरबीआई ट्रांसफर मोर देन हंड्रेड करोर बिकॉज दिस वॉज द इयर जब इन बेमिल जलान कमिटी बिफोर दिस वॉज फॉर्म राइट इट वॉज फॉर्म इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन आरबीआई ट्रांसफर मोर देन हंड्रेड करोर टू द गवर्नमेंट इफ यू सी द ग्राफ इट हैज बिन फॉलोइंग From hundred crore to now thirty thousand crore, and in this year it is expected कि ये इससे भी ज़्यादा कम होगा. Okay, it is expected. The final amount will be known only after the end of the financial year, which is March thirty one, ending in March thirty one. Okay, so it is only expected that RBI's dividend amount will be reduced this year further. Why will this be reduced? Because of higher interest payments. कौन सी interest payments? Let's understand this. Okay. so there is the concept of reverse repo rate under which banks park their excess liquidity right excess money to the rbi and rbi in turn give collateral to banks okay also a percentage this percentage is reverse repo rate the reverse repo rate is the rate at which rbi borrows funds from the country's commercial banks when rbi borrows funds from the commercial banks and gives a collateral in return it is nothing but reverse repo rate also ex standing depository deposit facility was formed by the rbi standing deposit facility was given by the rbi under this it works just like reverse repo rate but it is collateral free liquidity absorption mechanism there is no collateral koi collateral nahi hai राइट एसडीएफ 3.35 परसेंट पे था ओके इट इज अ कोलैटरल फ्ली लिक्विडिटी अब्जॉर्बन मैकेनिज्म आरबीआई को ये परसेंटेज भी देना पड़ता है कमर्शियल बैंक्स को एंड अंडर दिस आल्सो रिवर्स रेपो रेट आरबीआई गिव्स अ परसेंटेज ऑफ अमाउंट टू इंटरेस्ट अमाउंट टू द बैंक्स दैट्स व्हाई उनके डिविडेंड में बहुत ज्यादा फॉल होगा दिस ईयर दिस इज वन ऑफ द मेन रीजन फॉर दैट ओके अदर देन दैट इफ यू हैव ऑब्जर्व देर इज ऑल्सो अ डिप इन आरबीआई रिजर्व बिकॉज ऑफ राइजिंग इन्फ्लेशन इन द इकोनॉमी एंड फॉलोइंग बॉन्ड रेट्स अगर आप बॉन्ड रेट्स इफ यू मस्ट हैव बिन ऑब्जर्विंग इन न्यूज पेपर देव बिन फॉलोइंग बॉन्ड रेट्स ड्यू टू राइजिंग इन्फ्लेशन इन द इकोनॉमी बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ऑल्सो प्रॉफिट ऑफ आरबीआई मे बी डिक्रीज एंड ऑल्सो द डिविडेंट परसेंटेज मे बी लो right this was the first news talking about the second and very important news is about 81 bonds since last one two weeks this have been in news because of yes bank agar if you've been following news especially since last one week this has been in news regularly because of yes bank ab let's see the story thodi si pehle story samajh lete hain this has been the news that rbi will likely appeal to the supreme court to so yes bank and rbi 
they both will appeal to the supreme court why because the supreme court because the bombay high court gave a ruling ki yes bank ne jo write offs kare hain 81 bonds ke that will be ruled out there will be no more write offs of uh, 81 bonds by the yes bank okay let's see pehle to 81 bonds hote kya hain and how are they written off why were they written off let's also understand that okay so sabse pehle 81 bonds we have already understood we have already understood in the last video itself basel norms kya hote hain after 2007 8 a global financial crisis it was decided ki banks ko they have to maintain a certain capital of their risk weighted assets ratio right certain capital they have to be maintained which is their own capital secured capital under the basel norms this was divided into tier 1 and tier 2 capital under tier 1 we studied there is cet1 common equity tier 1 and additional tier 1 ab additional tier 1 ke under hi 81 bonds aate hain What are the features of these 81 bonds? Let's understand that. It is very important for your exams because these have been in news every second day very lately. सबसे important. 81 bonds. These are perpetual bonds. They have no fixed maturity, right? ऐसा नहीं है कि दो साल में, चार साल में, पांच साल में they will be maturing. No. Perpetual payment of interest is paid on these bonds by the issuer, right? So, for example, if Yes Bank issued these bonds to the investors the yes the yes bank has to pay an amount perpetually okay perpetually koi maturity date nahi hai jisme principal aur interest wapas karna hai the interest amount will be paid for going on years okay the issuer of such bonds may call or redeem the bonds there is a call option on these bonds which means the yes bank can call these bonds right at any point of time which is usually after 5 years mostly 5 year ka time diya jata hai uh, banks ke paas aur issuer ke paas there is an option after 5 years that they can call on these bonds what does call means they can call the investor and ask for these bonds and pay the entire amount due on these bonds to the investor theek hai they can call on these call to the investor and ask for bonds and pay the entire amount right this will write off the bonds from their books so call option hai which means the banks can call on these bonds but there is no put option on these which means the investors cannot ask money from the bank on these bonds there is no put option but there is a call option on these bonds next they are likely that any other bonds should they are just like any other bonds but they pay a slightly higher rate now why are these bonds attractive to banks and also to investors for this reason specially they are attractive to investors why they give a higher rate of interest koi aur bonds bhi to le sakte hain just like vanilla bonds right investors can invest in vanilla bonds but the reason they invest in 81 bonds is because they give a certain higher rate of interest compared to other bonds now why do banks issue these bonds to shore up their core capital which means basel norms mein basel norms mein it was required to maintain a certain capital and these 81 bonds form part of tier 1 capital therefore banks issue 81 bonds okay these bonds are also listed on stock exchange therefore secondary market mein inki trading possible hai another important feature this can be asked in your exam Let's revise it once again very quickly. 81 bonds are perpetual bonds. ये समझ आ गया, right? They have no fixed maturity. Perpetually उन पे interest payment होता है, okay? They have a call option. Banks can call on these bonds, but they do not have a put option, okay? Yeah. So yes, they carry a little higher interest rate. That is why they are attractive to investors. Now, banks issue these bonds to shore up their capital. Capital maintain करनी होती है, and that's why for maintaining capital, banks issue these bonds. They are listed and traded on stock exchange. Okay, like I said, investors cannot return these bonds issue the to the issuing bank and get the money. That is, there is no put option available to the holders. Right? Banks issuing eighty one bonds can skip interest. payouts this is another important feature right if at a certain for a certain year 
banks are unable to pay to the investors then they can skip the interest payment altogether for a year okay they can also reduce the bonds face value ab ye sab kyun kar sakte hain there are also other features which will be shocking okay 81 bonds are regulated by rbi and if the rbi feels that a banks need to be rescued for example agar kisi bank ke nps bahut zyada ho gaye or there is no profitability in this banks the banks aren't earning enough profit banks are unable to pay to the uh, to the yeah to their borrowers right banks are unable to pay to their investors then banks can write off these 81 bonds from their books of accounts and this is mentioned in basel norms as well and rbi follows basel guidelines therefore if a banks needs to be rescuing agar bahut zyada npas ho rahe hain profitability nahi hai there are not enough profits banks are unable to pay to its investors then seedha apni books mein se 81 bonds ko write off kar sakte hain banks there is a provision okay and इन्वेस्टर्स से कंसल्ट करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है फॉर दिस राइट सो इन्वेस्टर्स विल नॉट बी पेड गोइंग फर्दर बैंक की बुक से 81 वन बोन्स राइट ऑफ हो जाएंगे ओके बिकॉज इट इज अ लाइबिलिटी ओके यस वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर दीज बॉन्स लेट्स गेट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड कि येस बैंक न्यूज में क्यों है ओके सो इन 2020, right? In 2020, Yes Bank had a significant spike in NPA. Yes Bank में एक scam हुआ था, सबको पता है. NPAs significantly rise हो गए थे, deposits इतने आ नहीं रहे थे, and their profitability reduced to very low levels. तो Yes Bank में ये हुआ था. Therefore, RBI decided to intervene and help out Yes Bank, right? Okay, and certain restrictions were also placed on deposits of Yes Bank, right? SBI was also infused. SBI ने भी equity दी थी Yes Bank को, right? Re, uh, reconstruction package form हुआ था, under which SBI gave certain amount of equity to the Yes Bank. So RBI and uh, SBI came to the rescue of Yes Bank, right? And under this, it was decided कि Yes Bank के 81 bonds obligations were to be permanently written off which means investors will not get any amount on these 81 bonds right it was decided by rbi and it is a guideline under basel norms okay but this write off shocked some of the investors so jo investors the this was very shocking to them right they said that they did not firstly know about this provision of 81 bonds they were not aware of this provision of 81 bonds so they complained to the yes bank staff who sold them these 81 bonds that they were not aware about this right and also sebi ke paas gaye sebi also did an in, uh, investigation on this and it found out ki yes bank ke officials ne they gave these bonds to some to investors like senior investors who were unsuitable right unsuitable investors ko ye bonds diye gaye for example senior investors retail clients राइट मोस्टली ये बॉन्ड्स जो होते हैं इंस्टीट्यूशनल्स को दिए जाते हैं बट इन दिस केस रिटेल क्लाइंट्स को भी ये दिए गए थे राइट एंड दे वर अन अवेयर ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट दीज बॉन्ड्स कुड बी रिटर्न एनी टाइम रिटर्न ऑफ एनी टाइम ओके इन्वेस्टर्स इन दीज बॉन्ड्स बैंडेड टुगेदर एंड दे वेंट टू द कोर्ट दस बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट डिसाइडेड वेरी रिसेंटली बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट डिसाइडेड कि ये राइट ऑफ जो है ये इस पे स्टे ऑर्डर लग जाएगा एंड यस बैंक्स विल हैव टू अगेन राइट बैक दीज 81 वन बॉन्ड्स विच इट हैड रिटर्न ऑफ राइट नाउ द यस बैंक इज गोइंग टू अपील टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट दैट इज द लेटेस्ट न्यूज एंड द आरबीआई में आल्सो अपील टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट फॉर दिस दैट वाज द न्यूज right this was the news the rbi will likely to appeal to supreme court against the ruling of bombay high court राइट right? एक बारी फिर से समझ लेते हैं यस बैंक ने वेरी रिसेंटली मोर देन 8000 करोड़ के अपने 81 वन बॉन्ड्स को राइट ऑफ कर दिया अगेंस्ट विच द इन्वेस्टर्स वेंट टू द बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट एंड द बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट क्वॉश दिस डिसीजन ऑफ यस बैंक एंड आरबीआई आरबीआई का डिसीजन को क्वॉश कर दिया दस नाउ बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट सेट दैट दीज इन्वेस्टर्स इधर उनको पे करा जाएगा इन फुल अमाउंट और they will be given equity in yes bank so ya to inke 81 bonds ko equity mein convert kara jayega or they will be given an amount right and now yes bank and rbi i are going to appeal to the supreme court against this okay i hope this entire story is understood 
let's study ibc about insolvency bankruptcy code this has been in news since last one week for different reasons one of the biggest reason is this group insolvency framework jo abhi tak aaya nahi hai it is just a general framework that has to be implemented in india right uh, okay and for other reasons as well nclat ke chairperson ne bola hai that ki is is uh, ibc framework mein bahut zyada amendments lane ki zarurat hai ओके सो दिस आईबीसी कोड हैज बीन इन यूज फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम लेट्स जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दिस आईबीसी बिकॉज इट कैन बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम ओके सो देयर इज अ कॉर्पोरेट डेटर समबडी हुज टेकन अ लोन व्हेन अ कंपनी हैज टेकन अ लोन एंड दे डिफॉल्ट इन इट्स लोन इट्स कॉल्ड अ कॉर्पोरेट डेटर एंड अ कंपनी और अ बैंक और अ फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन हु हैज गिवन लोन्स टू दिस कॉर्पोरेट डेटर उनको कहते हैं क्रेडिटर ओके a bank or a financial institution or any other company who has given loans to these corporate debtors who have defaulted on their loans unko kehte hain creditor okay under this insolvency and bankruptcy framework what happens is when a corporate debtor fails to pay out its loans its loans then either the creditor or the debtor can apply apply for what initiation of cirp which is corporate insolvency resolution process which means that the corporate the company is insolvent it is unable to pay and usko jo uska payment hai jo uska loan hai usko resolve karne ke liye ek process follow hoga right so there will be cirp in corporate insolvency resolution process this takes place under section 6 of the ibc insolvency bankruptcy code to ya to creditor or the debtor either of these can apply for a cirp okay नाउ अब ये रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस में मोस्टली होता क्या है इधर द एसेट्स विल बी यूज्ड टू रियलाइज द अमाउंट ऑफ लोन और द कंपनी विल लिक्विडेट एंटायरली एंड वाइंड अप एंटायरली या फिर देर विल बी अ ट्वीक इन द लोन अग्रीमेंट राइट सो फॉर एग्जांपल अगर अग्रीमेंट था टेन ईयर्स में पे करना है मे बी दे विल बी गिवन मोर टाइम और दे विल बी अयर कट हेयर कट मीन्स लेट सपोज टू करोर द कंपनी ओन नाउ लेट सपोज it has to pay only 1.5 crore so there is a haircut on the amount that is to be received by the creditor so aise resolution koi plan banta hai under this cirp okay so earlier the amount of this was for cirp was 1 lakh so agar 1 lakh ka default hua hai the creditor or the debtor can go for cirp process right but it was increased to 1 crore now only if there is a, a, a default of more than 1 crore only then can a debtor or a creditor can go for cirp process under the ibc okay now uh, insolvency ke liye apply karne ke liye stipulated adjud adjudicating authority banayi gayi hai right so the creditor or the debtor has to go to an adjudicating authority right nclt is the adjudicating authority nclt national company law tribunal right now this tribunal has to admit this application or rejected so either it either it will admit it or it will reject it within 14 days so the tribunal has 14 days to either admit or reject the application right once they so acha the second thing is ki pure application and resolution ka jo process hai that is 330 days the completion of resolution process is 330 days once it is admitted by the adjudicating authority once the adjudicating authority has accepted this then there is 330 days for the plan to resolve okay now what does this aa adjudicating authority that is nclt what they do is they appoint interim resolution professional interim resolution professional who is a professional who has knowledge see they have experience either in uh, they are either chartered accountants company secretariat or lawyers and they have uh, experience in financial re uh, regulation right financially they are uh, literate they are educated and also experience as um, cas or company secretariat right so these insolvency in interim resolution professionals are appointed by the nclt they will take control of the defaulters assets collect all the information about the defaulter and this information will be collected from information utilities kya hoti hai ye information utilities they are repositories sirf inke these are just repositories who collect all the information about the debtor whoever has defaulted तो उनकी सारी क्रेडिट हिस्ट्री जो है वो इन रिपोजिटरीज में कलेक्टेड होती है दीज आर इंफॉर्मेशन यूटिलिटीज एंड 
the interim resolution professional they take care of all the assets and operations and give further a plan to coc which is committee of creditors so there is a committee of creditors ye kya hoti hai see ek debtor ne ek corporate debtor ne uh, so this corporate debtor has taken a loan from a lot of creditors right this creditors a b c d right let's suppose these are all the creditors now these creditors will form a committee of creditors and the interim resolution professional will give a plan to the coc further this application will go to coc that is the committee of creditors and this committee of creditors ya to they can appoint a new insolvency professional or jo irp hai interim resolution professional they will only work on this further either a new insolvency prof uh, professional will be uh, appointed by the coc or the existing interim resolution professional will work on the case right further ye i jo insolvency professional appoint kiya gaya hai this insolvency professional they will give a plan to they will give a plan to committee of creditors and is pe voting hogi unka jo plan that has been given by the insolvency professional to the committee of creditors it will be voted upon and 66% votes will be taken into consideration if a plan has more than 66% votes that plan will be implemented implemented otherwise the company will be liquidated jo debtor hai it will be liquidated okay so insolvency professional will give a plan to the committee of creditors which will be approved by 66% votes of all the uh, creditors in this committee and once approved the plan will take place the action plan will you know will be implemented other otherwise the company will be liquidated okay now let's we have understood what is this entire insolvency uh, and bankruptcy code how does it work let's understand why this has been in news majorly okay so a cross border insolvency resolution committee was formed by the ministry of corporate affairs cross border insolvency resolution committee was formed by the ministry of corporate affairs why was this formed to give a framework on group insolvency what is this group insolvency ye acche se samajhte hain right earlier it was this committee was formed to decide on the rules and regulations of insolvency and bankruptcy code only but in february 2020 this the this committee's uh, framework was expanded right the the function of this committee was expanded and now they have to give a framework on group insolvency right let's understand what is group insolvency see what happens is sometimes there is only a single promoter group single promoter or a promoter group and there are various companies working under it there are various companies working under it who might have taken loan right and let's suppose ek cirp process follow hota hai this process instead of all these companies can now be on this one promoter right so these companies which are working are working under a single promoter the ownership is single by a single promoter or promoter groups for example videocon ka case hua tha videocon group कि 15 कंपनीज पे एस ने सी प्रोसेस अप्लाई करा था इन 2018 सो द एस स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया अप्लाइड द सी प्रोसेस अप्लाइड फॉर द सी प्रोसेस ऑन दीज ऑन 15 कंपनीज ऑफ द वीडियो कॉन ग्रुप नाउ अब क्या होगा इंस्टेड ऑफ ऑल दीज कंपनीज अ सिंगल प्रोमोटर और द प्रोमोटर ग्रुप विल बी कॉल्ड अप फॉर सी प्रोसेस राइट दिस इज नथिंग बट ग्रुप इंसॉल्वेंसी फ्रेमवर्क right so the all these companies are working under one ownership only right their financials are interconnected so that is why group insolvency framework laya ja raha hai okay uh, and also this what does a group means this will also be defined by this committee going further okay the cbirc which is nothing but the uh, cross border insolvency resolution committee This was expanded in February 2020 to analyze the UN Citral Model Law for Enterprise Group Insolvency. Firstly, what is UN Citral? 
it is nothing but it is a subsidiary body of united nation general assembly which is working towards international trade and investment okay united nations commission on international trade law it is a subsidiary of unga which is working for international trade and investment inke paas already ek model framework hai द मॉडल लॉ ऑन एंटरप्राइज ग्रुप इंसॉल्वेंसी मॉडल लॉ ऑन एंटरप्राइज ग्रुप इंसॉल्वेंसी दे ऑलरेडी हैव अ ग्रुप इंसॉल्वेंसी फ्रेमवर्क द यू एन सेट्रल एंड दिस कमिटी वॉज फॉर्म टू एनालाइज दिस फ्रेमवर्क एंड गिव अ फ्रेमवर्क स्पेशली फॉर इंडिया दैट विल सॉल्व द पर्पज ऑफ इंसॉल्वेंसी एंड बैंक कोर्ट अंडर द ग्रुप एंड फॉर ग्रुप एंटरप्राइज रेजोल्यूशन ओके सो इस कंपनी का जो इस ये कमिटी फॉर्म हुई थी इट वाज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू एनालाइज द यूएन सेट्रल मॉडल लॉ फॉर एंटरप्राइज ग्रुप इंसॉल्वेंसी ओके व्हाट इज दिस मॉडल लॉ दिस मॉडल लॉ इज मॉडल लेजिस्लेशन प्रोवाइडिंग कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव फ्रेमवर्क फॉर डोमेस्टिक एज वेल एज क्रॉस बॉर्डर इंसॉल्वेंसी ऑफ एंटरप्राइज ग्रुप अगेन दिस इज अन अदर कॉन्सेप्ट डोमेस्टिक एंड क्रॉस बॉर्डर इंसॉल्वेंसी ऑफ एंटरप्राइज ग्रुप समटाइम्स वॉट कैन हैपन इज द कंपनी दैट हैज टेकन लोन from a company in india or a financial institution working in india this company might be working outside india right this falls under cross border insolvency group isme kuch aur bhi frameworks hain aur bhi guidelines hain pointers hain under this framework especially that if a company if under a group i told you that there are certain companies there are some companies that are solvent they have not turned insolvent these will not form form part of the group of companies jin pe ibc ka process follow hoga cirp ka process follow hoga only on those companies which have taken loan and are unable to pay not on those companies which are able to pay the loans or which are solvent even if they are working under the single promoter group right okay this is the last news for today new locker rules so new locker rules jo the sabse pehle they came in august 2021 and further re recently in 2022 december banks ne kuch aur guidelines di hai on these locker rules also banks uh, also rbi said so ye jo new locker rules hai these were decided by the rbi very recently first in 2021 further in december 2022 RBI gave new locker rules for the banks. Okay, so in ki jo deadline thi, it was January one, twenty twenty three. The deadline earlier was first January twenty twenty three for banks to incorporate these new locker rules. But now RBI has extended the deadline. That is why we are understanding. Firstly, what are these rules? And in ki jo deadline hai, now it has been extended. So RBI recently gave banks. time till the end of december 2023 to complete renewal agreements of the existing safe deposit locker of customers right firstly pehle inki 1 january 2023 thi that was the deadline earlier now it has been extended to december end also it was decided ki this implementation will take place yes this implementation will take place in a phased manner we'll understand that later ek bari pehle dekh lete hain what are these new rules under these new rules see locker system kya hai we all know what is a locker system it is nothing but when we as customers we as retail customers and individuals keep our safety deposit anything that is uh, you know essential for us anything that is valuable we keep them in a locker under the bank why because we are given safety by the bank safety provision banks deta hai if anything if any theft or is supposed to be taking place agar koi chori ho jati hai in lockers mein or banks are negligible then banks are required to pay a compensation on this so for safety purposes we keep our essential you know anything that is essential to us on in these locker system so ye basically locker system sabko pata hi hai what is locker system banks mein apne valuable items ko we can keep it under these locker system ab inme kuch new changes aaye hain firstly the agreement between a customer the agreement between a customer and a bank will be on a stamp paper the first one is this the agreement will be done on a stamp paper and a written agreement will be done between the bank and the customer whoever is availing this facility second there is a rent there is rent paid by the retailer or the customer 
टू द बैंक राइट तो एक रेंट पे करना पड़ता है फॉर अवेलिंग दिस लॉकर सर्विस एंड इफ लेट सपोज यू नो इफ लेट सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू सरेंडर द लॉकर बिफोर द ड्यू डेट देन देर इज रिवर्सल ऑफ रेंट इज वेल यू विल गेट योर रेंट बैक इज वेल ओके द थर्ड वन इज बैंक दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बैंक विल कंपनसेट टू यू हंड्रेड टाइम्स द अमाउंट ऑफ द लॉकर रेंट इफ इट रिजल्ट इन एनी नेग्लिजेंस और शॉर्ट कमिंग्स राइट हंड्रेड टाइम्स द अमाउंट ऑफ लॉकर रेंट इफ बैंक हैव बिन नेग्लिजेंट ओके सो कॉम्पनसेशन का पॉइंट पढ़ लिया रेंट रिवर्सल का पॉइंट पढ़ लिया एंड ऑल्सो देर हैज टू बी रिटर्न अग्रीमेंट बिटवीन द कस्टमर एंड द बैंक राइट सो नाउ दिस अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज इफ यू हैव नॉट पेड रेंट ऑन द बैंक देन बैंक इज अलाउड टू ब्रेक ओपन द लॉकर अर्लियर दिस वॉज डन बिफोर वन ईयर टाइम नाउ इट हैज बिन एक्सटेंडेड टू थ्री ईयर्स अगर थ्री ईयर्स तक इफ यू हैव नॉट paid the rent amount then banks can uh, break open your locker right also non operation if you haven't operated your locker system for 7 years now earlier this period was 3 years this has been extended to 7 years if there is no operation in your locker for 7 years banks can break open your account another important point sms ke through now you will be able to get notification through sms or email if you use your locker so every time you use your lockers you will get a notification through sms or email these were certain rules uh, locker rules that have to be followed by banks by the end of december 2023 pura process complete ho jana chahiye so anyone who has existing lockers in banks will be responsible uh, so the banks will be responsible to amend these guide to bring these guidelines into force right पहले जो थी डेड लाइन आई टोल्ड यू फर्स्ट जनवरी थी नाउ इट हैज बीन एक्सटेंडेड टू दिसंबर आल्सो नाउ इट विल बी डन इन अ फेज्ड मैनर सो 50 परसेंट ऑफ दीज गाइडलाइंस विल हैव टू बी फॉलोड बाय जून 30 75 परसेंट बाय सितंबर 30 ओके फर्दर लॉकर्स हैव टू या सो व्हाट हैपन वाज फर्स्ट जनवरी तक अभी तक कुछ बैंक्स ने ये अग्रीमेंट फॉलो नहीं करा था राइट दीज गाइडलाइंस वर नॉट इनकॉर्पोरेटेड बाय बैंक्स अंटिल नाउ एंड द बैंक्स अकाउंट द लॉकर्स were frozen now they will be unfrozen again because the deadline is extended so further the lockers that had been frozen for non execution of the agreement by january 1 should be unfrozen with an immediate effect last it noticed that a large number of customers were yet to sign and revised the agreement like i said the first january tak ye hona tha but still there were a lot of customers who still haven't signed on these agreements that is banks also haven't called on these customers to uh, renew their agreement okay this is our app if you haven't already downloaded you can you can get all the updates about exams okay so yeah this is the first question today the first question is not complete this is the first question recently the bombay high court has set aside the yes bank's decision to write off 81 bonds in this regard which of the following statements is are correct about 81 bonds like i said this is very important for your exam 81 bonds have a fixed maturity of 5 years no because they are perpetual they, they do not have a fixed maturity these bonds do not have a put option that is true investors cannot return these bonds to the investors true these bonds can be traded on stock exchange that is also true okay another question about 81 bonds as per basel norms and rbi regulation in case of need of rescue the principal and 81 bonds the principal on the 81 bonds have to be paid back to investors by the banks no they can be written off there is no provision of paying back the principal amount in case of rescue of banks yes banks ko add kar lijiyega yahan pe in case of rescue of banks banks issue these bonds to shore up the capital base to meet basel 3 requirements that is true tier 1 capital consist of 81 capital and counter cyclical capital buffer that is not true tier 1 capital consist of common equity tier 1 and 81 additional tier 1 capital okay which of the following is responsible for approving the resolution plan submitted by insolvency provision professional this is coc coc is responsible for approving the resolution plan what is the maximum period for resolution of insolvency plan see earlier when this was formed the, the maximum period was 180 days which could be further extended to 
नाइन्टी डेज कमिंग टू टू सेवेंटी डेज तो पहले ये वन एटी डेज था इट कुड बी फर्दर एक्सटेंडेड टू नाइन्टी डेज विच विल गिव सेवन टू सेवेंटी डेज फॉर दिस इंस्टॉलवेंसी प्रोग्राम राइट बट नाउ द टाइम पीरियड इज थ्री थर्टी डेज द मैक्सिमम पीरियड फॉर रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ द इंस्टॉलवेंसी प्लान राइट डिलीट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हियर Rest answers are given, right? The first question was incomplete in this again. Okay. Yes, this brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for watching.